We should totally hook up for Cabaret. I'm already doing a duo with Ash, two girls and a keyboard. And that sounds lamer than Heather Sinclair's Highland Sword Dance. I know. Heather Sinclair <laughs> shout out, <laughs> number one. Mm -hmm. Take a shot if you're drinking. She was just love. Mini me. To jazz it up, add some style. I've tried to get her to do that already. I love my pieces dangling in front of my face. Dictatorship. Just tell her you want to pop your song. And the trio. Story by Aaron Martin. He messaged me last night after I posted the insane synopsis of this episode to basically say, like, what the hell were we thinking? I'm kind of convinced that, like, all of the writers in season one were, like, I don't know, on shrooms or something. Because all of these episodes are crazy. Liberty's Cape. Does anyone remember Liberty's Cape? Ash? Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. I don't know what just happened. But I am not having it. It's a poetic dance on an environmental theme, Sean. You'll love it. I don't dance. You don't have to dance. Manny and I will dance. Oh my I god, Miriam is so dead. little. I don't wear leotards. We don't wear leotards. Just laugh. And like Cassie's even and little more. And basketball team. And because they're in danger. In our piece, we're gunned down by a hunter. It has a strong message. I don't hunt. I'm like captivated by this. I have no idea what's going on. Gotta get these pop ups off the bottom. Let me get rid of that. Good. You guys have to entertain and learn something in the process. Leotards, don't go together. Leotards and laugh. You're so primitive. JT, did anyone see that tweet from a couple of days ago where someone commented that JT looked exactly like Jamie Lee Curtis? Not wrong. There are many mystic oracles, but Tarot and Ouija are my favorite. Now, could I have a volunteer? Madame Terry? I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. Take a deep breath. What would you like to ask the oracle? Why does she have a Ouija board? I don't remember that part of the episode. Oh, and I'm seeing all the background actors, like Mark and Alex. Shoot, why does this keep happening? Okay, sorry guys. I don't know why I keep getting timed out with that. That one, yeah. Ask another uh, serious question, please. Um, what was the name of my first pet? Hmm. I call upon my jelly guardians. I call upon my spirit Are. Are you and Shane still friends? I haven't seen him since we shot the Drake video, which that was wild. See? Um, but I love him and I think he's doing well and we, you know, message each other on Instagram sometimes and yeah. And people were asking, I still live in Toronto. It's a bit creepy. Yeah, still here in Toronto. That's quite something, Terry. I still need some PowerPoint. Someone just said, oh my God. Adamo! Adamo, why don't you join me in the video? I don't know how to do that. Maybe we'll do that next time. And the real stuff, yeah. My aunt picked my grandma's stroke by reading tea leaves. So, if you heard a prediction, one that affected you... Like, what is my voice? I sound like a mouse. traveling um but me as he just told everyone if you're seeing his comments but maybe he'll join me for the next one because i'm kind of thinking that maybe i'll do like a weekly or bi-weekly thing one episode uh from each season twist what is that supposed to mean did cassie just have a british accent that was kind of random but cassie's random
Was I an amateur when I found out Spinner's pet's name? Please. Spinner told you about his cat, Rocky, like a month ago. How'd you know? I was there, remember? Guys, this show is... It's not great. <laughs> I'm always so surprised that people love these early episodes. Okay, I don't know why this keeps happening. Can someone tell me why I keep getting ads? It's really, like, messing with my flow here. Anyone? Let me skip it. I can't believe she didn't buy it. She said it was an amateur. Oh, the pieces. The hair pieces are back. Me? Hash? Is it? JT and Paige were my favorite, too. Do you know how sad it made me that Paige was not at JT's funeral? Paige, I know you want to be in the band. Paige, Melissa always said my name like that. The two girls on the keyboard is going to remain just that. Sorry. What do you think about adding a fifth name? Something like this. Oh, is this for the... Oh, oh no! Oh. Do we think that was a stunt actor? I think that was probably a stunt actor. Oh, someone's telling me that each episode is going to have like 20 ads. Okay, sorry guys, you're just going to have to bear with me. Oh, and I think I just heard... My husband and my baby come home. Okay. And you were right about me. About. About. Very patient. Yes. Very happy. Totally. See with big time. Wow. Cassie did just throw herself down the stairs. Oh, this music. Oh, okay. We have an iconic moment. Please, what's wrong with it? Guys, why don't we just make three girls make keyboard? This is the birth of PMS. This is huge. This is like an iconic moment. Three girls make keyboard, or Paige Marco talking with sex kids. They're both interesting. Terry, don't let three girls make keyboard, do you? I think we should just focus on being something. Wow, I'm now remembering that there's like an on-stage performance coming at the end of this episode, well, that was traumatic to film. We'll get there. Oh, CD player. And, like, purse that I wish I had now. That leopard bag is amazing. And a mood ring. I'm fully wearing a mood ring. This is going to be very important for all Crutches. This is like some foreshadowing of what happened seasons later when Paige broke her leg. I love that so many of you guys are watching. Hey, shake up your makeup. I see you. So much teenage angst. Who's Spencer? I think you mean Spinner. Terry and Spinner should have dated. Oh, look at that face. Jake Goldsby, best eyelashes in the game. Let me tell you. I love you guys too. Oh. So this was not only our set bathroom, but our real bathroom too. Wow. What? Wow. Can we talk about how uncomfortable I would feel in all of these outfits that they put me in? Oh, we have another ad. Okay, perfect timing. Yeah, I was like a very vulnerable 14-year-old flaunting my body around. But, uh, you know, now we have all these wonderful looks to uh, look back on. Let's see if I can answer some other questions. It's all just a Domo commenting. <laughs> not on there because then if I live streamed an in a heartbeat episode that's even further in the recesses of my brain because that was two years before Degrassi here's a interesting fact Degrassi and in a heartbeat shot in the same studio so I filmed in a heartbeat and one day when I wasn't working I came in and auditioned for Degrassi and then found myself there for the next you know 400 years which is kind of what it felt like do I have a favorite season um, do I? I'm going to skip through this ad if I can. Oh, no, it's finally done. Um, I think season 
four was pretty solid, wasn't it? Season four had like time stand still, ghost in the machine. I don't think so. Okay, we're back. God, I'm silly. So you little. Right. We are so going to get a record deal, especially after you hear my ideas for the song. Have you listened to it yet? Yeah. And well, it does <gasps> promise, but right now it sounds like a bunch of cows dying. <laughs> Yikes! I was so rude. Really you look? You like? I don't. You want us to look like prostitutes? Why do we all? I'll go get us some non-costumes. Talk so funny. Very funny, Paige. Like we're very articulate. I think it's maybe like a Canadian thing. I'm remembering that we went to a recording studio to record the song that we end up singing live on stage. And I was like feeling myself, thinking that I sounded so great. And then heard the final version and realized that they had stripped out my vocals and basically just left Melissa because she was the only one that could sing. It's like all these weird memories coming back to me. It just has to change. Why am I changing? Mr. Simpson, I think the big thing. Is that what you talked about in classmates, didn't you? Right. Well, we weren't really paying attention, but we wish we were. Cause we oh, have stuff in. And you want to make another version of it. Well, you came to the right place. This setup here is amazing. Stefan looks so young. Wish I had that when I was a band. Oh, <gasps> stop. Rewind. Mr. Simpson. Original Degrassi reference. This is a remedy. We even had a video. You ever heard of this? No. Everybody wants something. Never give up. I'll take that as a no. Uh, who is the actor who played Dean? Uh, his name is Sean Roberts, and he is not mean and awful and scary. He's actually such a sweet guy, and I saw him not long ago. Hold on, what the fuck is happening? Sorry for swearing. But what are they making Miriam do? Told me that you're cute. What is happening? JG, stop the music. What is happening? Oh, you keep leaving in the wrong way. Right. Um, there were always these weird, sorry. like, performance episodes. Oh, sure, again? Um, no, I think I have head injuries for today. It's her today. rainforest dance. Oh, okay. best part coming out. Maybe you should try it at home in front of the mirror or something. Sure. Oh, you go. Shut up. Oh my god. Such a curmudgeon. This is perfect, Mr. Simpson. It's an interpretive dance about poaching. I was talking too much that I missed that. I'm gonna do this dance in quarantine, says Adamo. Uh, uh. Wow. This song is so good. This is ridiculous. Okay, we have another ad. Can I answer another question? Um, it is smaller than a boombox. Guys, anyone have a question? I think she was doing something in Admit Go Lot. Who hooked up behind the scenes? I'm not going to answer that. Um, I was always a good girl. Um, do I have a favorite page look? shirt that says like I like to make boys cry that was a good one what was your favorite thing to do behind the scenes we would always just kind of hang out in my dressing room I shared a dressing room with Andrea who plays um or who played Hazel and for whatever reason that uh this music is brutal I'm just gonna turn it down when these ads come on um that uh was always kind of the hangout I think I posted some photos, like some TBTs of us hanging out on like our cots. We had like really fancy dressing rooms with like cots and sheets that were never washed. Um, once Adamo found a mouse in one of our dressing rooms and then like petitioned to um, production to get us better beds and it worked. Everything so he was always like our cast advocate. Um, what else? If you could pick another character to play, who would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I would probably pick... 
Maybe Craig. He always got like really great emotional stories. Um, lots of freeze frames. We used to have these like cast read throughs uh, for every episode, and the scripts would be turned over. And the first thing you would do when you got to the read through is read through the back of the page to see who got the freeze frame because we would never know what the episodes were about or who they were going to feature. Um, and then they ended up putting like decoy back pages on the script so that we would be like thrown off and not know who the episode was about. They were just like trying to mess with us, I'm not really sure. Um, Rescue You is still such a bop. Is that the name of the song? Did you originally audition for Paige? I actually auditioned for... I think I originally auditioned for Paige and then we did like a screen test day where I auditioned for Ashley and Paige and we did chemistry matchups and that was the first time I met Aubrey. Maybe you've heard of him. He's a famous rapper now. Um, and we had to kiss in the screen test and I remember walking in with him and he offered me a stick of gum um, before we started and like Linda and Stephen Stone and the creators and everyone like cracked up. Always, uh, he was always smooth. Always a comedian. Um, okay, there's too many ads, so let's skip this. Here we go. We're back. We're back. Are there videos of the read-throughs? I don't think so, but I wish there were. How cool would that be? Like, not me singing. Actually, maybe that is. Really off-key. Coming of age. I don't remember what episode that was. Actually, it's just an alternate tape. Both versions are still on the computer, so there's no problem. We weren't trying to ruin your song. We were taking it to another level. Everything that Paige wore in these early seasons just looks like highly flammable. It looks like if I stood too close to a candle, I would like immediately go up in flames. Do you agree? I, I don't know. You should let the Oracle decide. We can all- Oh my God, Zach Pierce, thank you. Terry is in touch with us. <laughs> okay, I'll consult the Oracle. Um. What is this oracle? Who cares? Coming of age, Emma gets her period. Oh, that was a cute bathroom episode where we had a cute scene in the bathroom. Go with the new. Sorry, Ash. What do you think Paige would be doing today? I don't know. That's a good question. She's probably like. I mean, she's probably working in fashion or something like that, but I don't know. It's fun to think that she, like, shaved her head and lives. Oh, wow. Oh, we have a dance. We're practicing the dance. I did some internet research on your last reading. The high priestess means stay with the old. You should go with the new. You lied here. Why? So much frosty makeup. We were doing Euphoria eyes long before they were. Because you made all of my suggestions. That is so not true. It is. I don't get a say in anything. Not Paige would be married to a rich man. I don't know if I agree with that. I think Paige is probably like on her own, the head of some like huge corporation, some like fashion corporation. Please welcome our first act. Oh. The dance piece entitled Endangered. Okay, I know everyone wants to see this dance, but like poor Sarah and everything they made her wear. Degrassi walked so Euphoria could run. Yes. Paige was fun. Okay, we need silence for this because it's too insane for words. Where's Aaron Martin at? I wish he would join in. Guys, is this, like, what, what is happening? Cassie's like a hunter? Oh, we got our first. 
has the Drake appearance. This is so deeply weird. And Danny not having it. Danny is like, I am done with this. Everyone needs to respect my girl. Ugh, what a hunk. Adama and I learning this dance. Guys, we're going on in like two seconds. Look, the oracle said go with the old. Is that a fake nose ring? Who knows what might happen if you defy them? What episode do I think is the most dramatic? It's got to be Time Stand Still. That's like probably the most, we're using the new you know, Fine. infamous episode of the show ever. And me. Fine. Tear come on. Did you settle on a... Paige and Spinner should have probably ended up together. The fact that he married Emma hurts me. Like, deep, deep within me. Did Paige have a nose ring? No, I didn't. But for some reason, I did in this episode. I did have a belly button ring. I wonder if I already had it here. I don't think I did. I think I got it in the next season. Oh, we're dancing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. doing like a back to back we're doing one of these <gasps> I'm wearing a boa I actually remember filming this look at all did I just pause it no okay we're still good right we were in a fight Aubrey and I when we filmed this and he was like giving me nothing and I was so embarrassed look at his face you can tell he's like I would say that often we brought what was happening off camera on screen. And they would take like aspects of our life, the writers, and aspects of our personalities and imbue them into the characters. You're great out there. Thank you so much. I just talked through the entire performance scene, but it was that was a lot. Sorry. What happened to Terry after she ended up in the hospital? I don't think she died. I think she just like went away. I don't know what to say. But not without giving us that classic moment of her legs falling in the forest. That was a stunt actress, I believe. Um, did you like filming Whisper to a Scream? I don't remember what episode that was. I used to know the titles of every episode. Why were you fighting? I don't really remember, but I, I just, I, maybe I do, and I'm just not going to say, but, um, which character were you most like in real life? I mean, probably like Paige, where she wound up in the later years, not when she was a total nasty, mean girl. Okay, but first things first, what about a name? Well, there's always Paige Reflecheck in the sex games. Yes. Hello, let me finish. I'm talking about the initials. B-M-S. PMS? What? It's edgy. It's cool. And gross. Why Paige was so ahead of her game. No way. Tear, it's one to one. Your vote breaks the tie. You should consult the Oracle. Um, the Oracle is oh, no We're still talking about the Oracle. Did they make Ashley cut her hair? No, I think she wanted to. Fine. Degrassi Podcast. What's that account that I see here? Aww. Freeze frame www.degrassi.tv does anyone remember that like original website that used to have like the message boards on it I used to go on and read those and all the it's not always nice things people would say um okay guys we did it the episode's over that was nuts do I still talk to Jake Epstein of course I do I actually saw him a couple of weeks ago and his lovely wife um well that was a trip I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I will definitely answer a couple more questions. Okay, we're back. Um, any other? <laughs> I'm seeing people I know. It's over. You missed it, Schwartz. Um, any other questions that I can answer? This sparked joy. That makes me so happy. 
Um, do you believe there will be another incarnation of Degrassi? You know, I think anything's possible. I can't say that I will be involved or that anyone from the original show will be involved. I have no idea. But something like this never goes away. Um, why wasn't Alex punished for her role in the shooting? Don't remember. How old were you when you filmed this? This episode, I think I was probably 14. I'm touching my face. Don't touch your face. Um, can you next? Okay, what else here? Can they just get the series on Netflix? Yeah, I know. That would be a lot easier. And then we would have had to endure all those ads. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. Did you and Adamo room together in real life? Yeah, we lived together for two years. They were two of the most fun years living downtown Toronto. Um, it was actually after, I think it was while we were filming Jurassic Goes Hollywood. And then uh, a little bit after that. Can we live watch a 1G, 5G episode? I would totally do that. Um, do a lot of people recognize you? Yeah, it's kind of crazy how people still, you know, do recognize me from the show and are still watching. Um, my favorite episode, my favorite episode to film, I've said this before, was Ghost in the Machine. Um, so I think eventually maybe if we do this again, we'll, we'll do that episode. Uh, cast rivalry in real life. No, honestly, everyone got along. I think because the cast was so big, everyone, season one, everyone kind of like hung out together and we were all sort of just getting to know each other and we used to go on these like cast dinners and stuff. Um, but then as the seasons went on and the cast just expanded, everyone was sort of like with their own group of people and uh, yeah, everyone did kind of get along. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna like wind this down now oh filming the food fight was actually one of the most fun scenes we've ever shot i wish adama was still on here because i have this memory of like a joe louis getting stuck in jake goldsby's ear and him like not being able to hear and being like i can't hear i can't hear and it was like kind of scary but really funny um he's like the best he remembers <laughs> God, that's funny. Okay, so we're gonna wind this down. Um, okay, this has been wild. Uh, I love you all. Thank you so much for joining in. This was crazy. Okay, Mwah. bye. Fun.